My name is Dietmar Detering. I'm representing here in Nuclear New York. Uh, we are here at the governor's office to present 10,654 signatures in opposition to the closure of Indian Point Nuclear Station that's uh, being completed tomorrow night. 13 years ago, we started collecting these signatures and uh, 12 months ago, we have uh, presented the first batch of 8,000 signatures to the governor's office in Albany by mail and we have gotten no response whatsoever. Today, after 13 months of uh, signature collection, we're here at the governor's office in Manhattan uh, to present the total now of 10,654 people signing this petition from all around the world, New York State, New York City, in my neighborhood in Western Queens, which is most affected by the upcoming rise in fossil fuel generation in response to this stupid shutdown of Indian Point. Uh, the governor's office decided um, as a matter of COVID policy not to receive any hand delivery, not to respond to any request to, to present a petition in person, and even the reception is not allowed to take this stack of signatures uh, from us, even though it appears to us safer then delivered by mail. And we believe that as a matter of responsiveness, the governor and his office have a duty to receive our petition here and um, recognize the desire of all these people to be heard. Indian Point, its closure, will lead to a rise of pollution, a damage to environmental justice communities. Two new environmental justice communities have been created in the lower Hudson Valley, in Wabayanda and Dover. More fossil fuel power upgrades are being discussed right now, all in response to Indian Point shutdown. And New York State is moving, uh, lower, uh, or downstate, is moving from 30% clean energy to 90% fossil generation in response to Indian Point shutting down. Indian Point has never hurt anyone, never killed anyone, it's never, it's, it's, it's saving life. We're getting fossil fuel generation now. It hurts the climate, it hurts the communities. It's the opposite of what the state has been, has proposed to do with the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act. And it's happening right now. And the governor is not even willing to listen to us and receive our petitions. Tramilla? Yeah. Thank you so much, Dimar. Thank you for the petitions and thank you to everyone who signed the petition. I'm Pramila Malik, I'm the chair of Protect Orange County. Orange County is the site of the CPV Valley power plant, frac gas power plant that was built specifically to replace Indian Point. I, I just want to make a couple of comments. First of all, Indian Point for nearly 50 years has been saving the lives of New Yorkers by, uh, by providing us um, uh, pollution-free, carbon-free, clean power for almost 50 years. It has saved lives that would have been lost to fossil fuel pollution. Um, it has kept the subways running. It has kept the lights on in the second largest consumer of power in the world. New York City is the second largest consumer of power in the world. So within 24 hours, the carbon footprint of New York City is going to increase exponentially. And that is a responsibility and a legacy that carries heavy on every elected official in New York State, especially those representing New York City. So I'm talking about Mayor Bill de Blasio. What have you done to stop uh, this from happening? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, <clears throat> you have so many environmental justice communities in your district in Queens. Um, near Astoria Gen. Um, Harvey Epstein, your district near uh, East River Gen, uh, that's going to be directly impacted by emission sources from three different, four different directions. Um, you know, all of the elected officials in New York State, Andre Stewart Cousins, uh, Carl Hasty, Governor Cuomo, of course, your legacy is the utmost on the line. Um, you, you, you know, you want to be a climate leader and a climate champion, and I believe you still have time to become that by preventing the closure, not surrendering, not acquiescing to corruption. And why do I say acquiescing to corruption? Um, because corruption is the real reason Indian Point is being closed. And this was um, verified and established in the Joseph Prococo trial, seven-week criminal federal trial, in which it was revealed that closing Indian Point was the quo in the quid pro quo bribery scheme 
that put Coco in jail, um, as well as a CPV executive, both convicted for that bribery scheme. Um, so this is why we have a climate crisis, because of corruption and because of deception. Um, the big greens have peddled a lie that Indian Point is being replaced by renewals. Renewables, that's absolutely not true. You can come to the, our, our community in Orange County and look for yourself and see exactly what's happening on the ground. And I'm just going to tell you one story about a woman who lives close to the power plant built to replace Indian Point. She used to be an avid hiker, and just a few weeks ago, she tried to go hiking as soon as the weather got warm, and she couldn't do it. She couldn't climb. She couldn't breathe. She went to her doctor, had to see a specialist, a pulmonologist, and she was just diagnosed with asthma and COPD. She has never had breathing problems ever before in her life. A very active uh, woman, again, you know, her entire, you know, she, her, she, is, she is being harmed. The pollution that is going to ensue because of the closure of Indian Point is causing real harm on real New Yorkers. This has to stop. Again, all you elected officials, city council members, you are also equally responsible. This is New York City's carbon footprint, and in 24 hours, it is we are going to lose 80%, 80% of our carbon-free power. That's your legacy. Um, you were warned, now it's your responsibility to take action. Thank you. Paul? Yeah, that's exactly right, Pamela. My name is Paul, Paul Palinatol. I'm with Nuclear New York. Um, uh, Pamela is right, uh, we're losing clean power, and that is because of the fear of nuclear. And it is a fear which is artificial. It is done by the, uh, by the anti-nuclear lobby. And what is the boost? Who is the anti-nuclear lobby? Well, it is actually the fossil industry, first of all. Uh, it is also the renewable industry or the renewable lobby, which, are, uh, which tries to gain from that. And it is plain fear. And I think we have to lose, in New York, we have to lose that fear of nuclear power, because it is safe. It is clean and it is better than all the other resources. And I hope that the governor or and, and the assembly members will start to reinvestigate and revisit um, um, about new, um, Indian Point and realize that they made a big mistake and set, setting New York State back. Uh, please consider what's been done. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Just a quick shout out to the workers at Indian Point. Indian Point has provided. 1,000 workers uh, with awesome jobs, great benefits, a real salary that's very difficult to find. Each one of them, I believe, at $140 million in payroll for 1,000 people. It's safe to say one salary feeds a family. These are jobs that America is straining for and we're kicking them in the trash. And thank you very much also for this testament of how safe and reliable Indian Point is by completing, by tomorrow with this forced shutdown, an end-to-end -end run of 752 days of uninterrupted generation from a light water pressure reactor, which is a world record, including in this a two-year run at 99.7% capacity factor. There is no 101% run, so this was almost the entire time 100% run of capacity, a lot of power for New Yorkers. Thank you very much, and shame on New York for shutting it down. Thank you. Thank you.